Hi guys, um, so today I'm opening a box from Pop Culture. Um, I ordered a pop from them a little while ago. It's sort of a grail of mine, it's one I've wanted for a while, but I've never really seen it anywhere because I think it was a Hot Topic exclusive, so it was never in the UK. Um, and while I was ordering that, I decided to get a £4 mystery out of box pop. So that could be anything, so let's just get into it and we shall see what we have. I will do the out of box pop first. Oh, no I won't. No out of box pop to be found. I'm very confused. Um, I spoke to Pop Culture ages ago uh, because I ordered this pop and realised they hadn't dispatched it yet and went, oh damn, I meant, to, I meant to add an out of box pop to the parcel. And they were like, yeah, no problem. Just give us some money, we'll send it to you. We'll add it all in the same package. No extra postage, no worries. Great, so I did that. And then I waited another couple of weeks and still didn't hear anything. So I asked them to be like, hey guys, have you sent me the things yet? Like, oh. And they were like, oh, sorry, there was a problem. We really, we fixed it now. No worries, it's on its way to you. Um, and then the pop that I've ordered has arrived, but the out of box one hasn't. So I'm gonna need to message them. It's a bit upsetting, but never mind because the one I really wanted is here. So look, without further ado. Oh, he's a bit dived out of his box but it is the uh, fading Cheshire Cat pop. Uh, box is in good condition, no problems there. Um, all looks good to me. Let's get him out and have a look at him. Oh he looks so cool. There we go. Um, I don't have the uh, non-faded version, um, I believe that one's really expensive but I'm actually happy with this one, I think he looks really quite cute like this. And um, his tail is like really well faded, looks really awesome. And his little mad eyes. So he's going to be sitting with my uh, Alice in Wonderland set. Um, because I don't have, I don't think I've got any of this set actually, although I do need to buy an Alice. I've got like loads of other pops from that set now and no Alice and no Mad Hatter, so I need to sort my life out. But um, this one is really cute and awesome. And it was only like, I want to say £12 or something. It was really quite cheap. So oh, I, can't, I can't find out now, but it was only about £12 and that was exciting. And I think I also had a discount, so I didn't pay much of the postage that they would normally charge you either. So that was pretty damn awesome. But yeah, that is my um, semi-grail. It's one, it's one that I've had my eye on for a while, but it's one I was never prepared to spend a ridiculous amount of money on. So I kind of wanted it and I was like, oh, and I just didn't think I was ever going to get it. But pop culture. Thanks, pop culture. Although I shall be messaging you, messaging you about that out of box one because what happened to that? <laughs> Hi, guys. Um, so I hope you didn't switch off too early and you're still seeing this. Uh, but I got in touch with pop culture and said, ah, I'm missing my out of box pop. And they have thankfully sent me a parcel which should contain it. Um, now, this could be anything in here and it probably is likely to be something I either have or really don't want but I think it cost me about four pounds and I just thought eh, I'll give it a try so it basically means um, they sell them because their boxes are damaged and they don't want to send out damaged boxes um, so it's still a mystery pop but it doesn't have a box but the pop itself should be fine it shouldn't be damaged itself and I think on their website they call it who let the pops out which makes me laugh also, they were really apologetic and um, I literally sent them one message and they resolved it all straight away and told me they'd already sent it and, well, told me that they would send it straight away. Um, so it was really good and they did. It got here really quickly. Okay, so let's see. Oh, I think it might be a Wonder Woman. Let's have a look. There we go. Okay, so it is a Wonder Woman um, and... I can't, uh, um, I don't have any Wonder Woman pops, so I'm quite, ha I'm quite happy with this. Uh, but it actually saying that it was an out of box pop, um, it has actually got some marks on it, which is a bit rubbish. Um, I don't think it's supposed to. I think it's because it's a fairly old design, maybe. Um, and I don't even know which one it is because I'm a bit dumb. 
It looks pretty cool nonetheless. But yeah, there's. Uh, let me see if I can get that. Mm. You can't see on this camera um, because it's just a bit like too close to it. But I'll take a picture so you can see what I'm on about. Uh, but I don't know which Wonder Woman this is because I haven't really ever looked at them. Um, I figured if I was going to get one, I'd probably get the new one from um, Batman vs Superman film. So I've I've really never even looked into Wonder Woman pop. So let's just see what it is. I think it's just the White Lantern Wonder Woman, which is what I was going to guess if I had guessed. I should have just guessed. But she is pretty cool. And like I say, the, 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 there's like a little weird bit on her nose and a little bit on her eye, but you can't really see it that well. So I think it's fine. Like no one will notice. It's pretty cool for £4, right? Um, I think that's one of the exclusive ones. I think I, could, I think it was... Um, oh, it says it on here. Let's see. Fugitive Toys. I think it was a Fugitive Toys exclusive. So not that readily available in the UK it probably have an underground toys exclusive sticker here but even still that is pretty cool for four pounds so thank you very much pop culture and thank you for sorting that out so quickly for me um, mistakes happen so I'm fine with that uh, so that's all for now guys um, I have some more unboxings coming up shortly so keep an eye out for those but in the meantime take care and I will see you soon bye for now